Okay, let's go ahead and find the angles of this triangle. And I'm looking here, you can see I have an angle that's uh, x degrees. We have x plus 1 and x plus 2. So these would represent angle measures in degrees. And we want to find the actual angles. Now, what's going to be required to, to solve this problem? Well, we're going to have to know a little bit about triangles, i.e. we're going to have to know uh, some geometry, but we're also going to have to uh, have some pretty decent algebra skills as well. And it's pretty common uh, for uh, most students to take a full year of algebra before you study geometry at a more advanced level. Uh, but there are some courses that can combine both um, algebra and geometry. But the bottom line is that you're going to need to know a decent amount of algebra uh, when you uh, study geometry. But um, anyways, if you think you could solve this problem, I would say go ahead and you know pause the video and tell me what this angle is, this angle is, and this angle is. Just put that in the comment section. Um, I would classify this as a pretty uh, easy type of problem. So if you're looking at this and uh, you are a math student of any level, you should be able to handle this. Now, if you don't know how to do it, stick around for a couple minutes. I'm going to show you exactly what to do here. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, if you're struggling in math, maybe you're struggling because you don't feel like you're getting enough math instruction, or if you're not really connecting with your teacher's uh, teaching style, Whatever the case is, I've been teaching math for decades. I like to pride myself on teaching math in a very clear and understandable and comprehensive way. I really break things down step by step. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, I can help you out. If you're studying for any test that has a math section, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplacer, uh, maybe the CLEP exam, maybe a teacher certification exam, you get the idea. I can help you prepare and pass those exams if you homeschool, have an excellent homeschool math program and courses. And if you don't have any math notes, don't panic. I'm going to let you use mine. Uh, you'll find the links to my math notes in the description of this video. But just know one thing, if you want great math grades, you must absolutely have great math notes. Okay, so let's get into this problem again if you think you can solve it. Go ahead and it'll probably take you all of about 45 seconds, eh, maybe a minute to uh, do this problem. Put your answer in the comment section. Okay, I'm looking for three angles, uh, this angle, this angle, and this angle, but we're going to get into the solution now. Okay, before I show you the actual work, let's just uh, talk about this triangle. So what do we know about triangles? Well, the first thing you need to know about triangles is that is that the sum of the angles, okay, there's three angles in a triangle, the sum of this angle and this angle and this angle of any triangle, okay, all three angles in that triangle always add up to how many degrees? If you said 180 degrees, then you're on to a good start. Matter of fact, I'll give you a little happy face and a check mark, very good, okay? So 180 degrees, uh, the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Now, knowing that fact, I have the angles here. Of course, they're in a uh, in a variable expression, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to tell you how to solve this problem. So you're going to want uh, to write an equation: this angle plus this angle plus this angle, uh, and it's equal to 180 degrees. So you want to set up that equation and solve for x. Okay. So if you solve for x, you'll get this angle. Okay. So if you know what the value of x is, again, you'll have this angle, and then this angle is simply going to be x plus 1, and then this angle right here will be x plus 2. So I pretty much laid out the game plan to how to uh, solve this. Now, again, you're going to have to have basic algebra skills to solve this equation, but it's pretty straightforward stuff. So if you think you can do it with this little hint, go ahead and do it, but I'm going to show you the work right now. And let's go ahead and get into it. So here is our lovely triangle. So we're going to say, okay, x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 1. Well, this is the uh, all the angles of this triangle that's going to be equal to 180 degrees. So here we, here's our one angle, x. Okay, here's x plus 2. So x plus x plus 2. I'm putting these in parentheses just to be make this very explicit that this is that angle. Plus x plus 1, this angle here is equal to 180 degrees. You could just put 180 because we know we're talking about degrees here. All right, so at this point, 
um, we really just have to solve this basic triangle. So what, what do we have here? Well, we have uh, an X, an X, an X. So that gives me 3X. And then I have 2 and 1 that gives me 3. So I have 3X plus 3 is equal to 180 degrees. So how do I solve this? Well, uh, hopefully, again, uh, you know how to solve basic equations. If you don't know how to solve a basic equation, don't panic. Uh, I'm going to give you a couple suggestions. One, you definitely need to go back and relearn algebra or learn algebra for the first time. So I'm going to suggest uh, checking out a lot of my videos in my pre-algebra and uh, algebra um, playlist on my YouTube channel, or you can sign up for one of my courses, pre-algebra or algebra one. Um, I teach this stuff thoroughly. Okay, but the, uh, what we need to do here is subtract three from both sides of the equation. That gives us 3x is equal to 177. And then I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 3 to solve for x. And x is equal to 59. Okay, so we're, so this x right there is 59. But 59 what? Well, it would be 59 degrees. Okay, so being that this is 59, uh, we can get these two angles. You can see I have this work written out right here. All right, so x was equal to 59 degrees. So that's what that is. So x plus 1 is this angle. So that would be 59 plus 1, or 60. And then this angle right here is x plus 2, or 59 plus 2, which is 61. And let's go ahead and just check this. So we have 59, uh, 60, and 61. Does this add up to 180? Indeed it does. So this, all three of these right here are our angles. Okay, this is the answer. All right, so if you got this right uh, without... You know, looking at what I did here, then I must go ahead and give you your nice happy face with a good old 1982 Mohawk and A plus any 100%. Very, very good. Remember, you know, uh, that you, to be successful in geometry, you got to know um, the char characteristics and properties, whatever geometric shape or figure you're looking at, number one. And number two, you're going to have to bring your algebra skills to play as well. So if you're struggling in geometry because of algebra, it's not going to get any better unless you do something about it. So, you know, take advantage of uh, the videos that I post. If you like my teaching style, I have tons of videos. Uh, by the way, if this video was helpful in some small way, don't forget to smash that like button. That definitely helps me out. But uh, if you like my teaching style, I have a ton of videos in my pre-algebra playlist, my algebra playlist, my geometry playlist. On my channel, you'll find math from basic stuff all the way up to calculus. So I really spread it around, uh, and I post this you know, I post these uh, videos with the intention of helping you out, okay? So you'll find a lot of content on my channel, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.